Bush had in bed. What's up, big boys, and welcome to Audrey to Glory, episode number 30. I know I promised this episode to you guys on Friday, but then the uh, the Cristiano SBC came out, a whole bunch of content came out over the course of the weekend, so I had to push this episode number 30. 30 episodes in, this is the longest series that I've ever had on the channel. Uh, I know I said that a few episodes ago, but just want to thank you guys. For those of you guys that have stuck around, I know views in the FIFA community are a little bit dead at the moment, but just want to, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys for those of you guys that have stuck around uh, since the beginning watching the series, whatever videos they might be on FIFA 18. I just want to let you guys know that I appreciate you. But today, episode number 30 is going to be emotional for a couple of reasons. Not only are we going to do the cultural exchange SBC, which we're going to do it in place of the marquee matchups, I had to make a decision because they are both pretty expensive. As a matter of fact, the cultural SBC is way more expensive uh, and gets you better packs, so I decided to go that route. We have the foot champs rewards, my gold, uh, gold two, sorry, gold three foot champs rewards that we're going to pop open. We have. What do you do? <laughs> We've got the Ligo Nos recap, which I will let you guys know how I finished over the course of the weekend, and then also looking forward to the league that we're going to be using in this upcoming weekend league, which I'm pretty sure is going to be the Russian league. A lot of you guys have asked for that. Before we go any further, make sure to hit that like button. Let's me know that you guys are still enjoying Henri to Glory. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Now, given that we've got the cultural exchange SBC, we like to promote multiculturality here at Club Pound Fish. Hey, Larson. Hello. <laughs> What's going on in the cafeteria, bro? Look, assistant manager Kovahel is handing up pastels de nata. Nah, my nuts are already pasted. Thanks, dude. It's no pasted nuts. It's pastels de nata. You have one. Assistant manager Carlos, thank you so much. Could you tell me exactly what a pastel de nata is? Sorry. Pastel de nata. I'm joking. You don't have nothing. <laughs> how you look at it, I might have just made a huge, huge error. Uh, I don't see it as an error because I had to do this in order to complete the SBC. The Spanish Bundesliga, the any Spain player in the Bundesliga is currently either extinct or immediately going for 10k. I bought this Juan Bernat uh, for 10,000 coins. If I look for him again, he'd probably be extinct. As a matter of fact, uh, we're just going to send him to the club right now. He is the last missing puzzle. Uh, to complete the uh, cultural exchange SBC. We are gonna go over to single player squad builder challenges and then cultural exchange SBC. You guys let me know if you've done these. Uh, like I said, Spain to Germany is probably the most costly one. Goes costs about maybe 30, 40 K. Luckily I had most of these players in the club, but uh, I am going to quickly swap out. Let's go over to Bundesliga. I'm going the wrong way. Let's go over to Bundesliga and find our Ben uh, Bernat. And then that is going to give us what? Spain players from the Bundesliga, min two. Nationality is exactly four. We got the wrong Bartra. We'll get, Ad we'll get Adan, which brings us up to 80, but now we need that Bartra. Bro, what is life even right now? Wait a second, Camacho? Jesus, did we just buy him for 10,000 coins? We just spent 20,000 coins on two players. I can't, I'm not even sure I'm gonna be able to link him in. Would that hyperlink work? Hold on, real Batiste? 97, okay, that works. Okay, so we were gonna submit this one. Camacho and Bernat alone cost 20,000 coins, so I'm not sure we're gonna come close to making our money back. Hopefully we get some nice packs, we get a mega pack. This is the French Connection one, a little bit difficult, but again, I had every single one of these players in the club, so we're gonna go ahead and select, uh, go ahead and insert this one. Germany to England, we are gonna see, I forget what we did in here, pretty much all Germany players. Uh, fortunately had this guy, which, um, German Liga Santander players are going for quite a bit right now. And then we just finished off with a Premier League side on the top with this guy who we had in the club. First owner, uh, Gloss. So we've got that done. We're gonna submit that. And that finishes the Cultural Exchange SPC. We get a premium gold pack. We're gonna see what we get. I'm not sure what exactly what the pack reward is. 5,000 coins plus a rare players pack. We've got our 10 packs, including a jumbo premium gold pack. We've got three mega packs, one of which we got from the Cultural Exchange SBC, a few rare players packs. We have prime gold players packs and then a couple two players packs. So really excited to see what those might bring us. We have 130,000 coins uh, stacked in the club. We've got some main of the matches that are still available. We have a brand new, well, not a brand new team of the week, but the new team of the week as of last Wednesday, including the lights of a Abachwai. We've got a Nathan Ake, 84 rated card, still goes for, I believe, over 100,000 coins. A 90 Matsumos, of uh, an 84 rated Rambo, Mikatarian. We've got that, uh, we've got that Tells. Speaking of Tells, we're gonna do the recap really quickly of the Liga Nos uh, Weekend League, and then we've got Higgy up top, like I said, and then also that 86 Talvan. So a pretty good team of the week. Would be happy with pretty much 90% of any one player from the starting 11. But like I said, we've gotta do a quick recap of the Liga Nos Weekend League. You ready to get your nuts pasted? 
You men don't have theory on ring, come on! Unless! finish for having played 37 matches and I couldn't really put a finger on why I didn't perform as well started off had one of the best starts ever I think I was maybe I think it was eight and two at one point everyone on Twitter was freaking out they're like Zway how are you doing this with the Liga No side and then of course what happened is what happens per usual we hit the buzzsaw just got a little bit drained the four-day weekend league I just want that to come back because it was just so so tough uh just uh, tuning in across three days we need the four-day weekend league it is something that has to happen and uh, not sure how many weekends I'm going to be able to do all 40 if we don't have that four-day weekend league. I don't know. Maybe you guys let me know your thoughts. Are you guys not playing weekend league? If it was a four-day weekend league, would you give it more of an opportunity? Let me know in the comment section below. But we're going to do a quick recap. And I want to start with the star of the epi. If you have not tried out this 86 second in form Yasin Brahimi, do yourself a favor. Go out and try him out. As you guys can see, 37 games played, 28 goals, and 21 assists. So that is... 49 goal contributions in just under 40 matches was incredible for me played a lot better in the first 20 than he did in the last uh, in the last uh, in the latter half of weekend league but 47,000 coins was absolutely clinical and I attribute his finishing there was not an opportunity he would not miss opportunity if you got him in the box he was not missing opportunities 83 finishing with the hunter chem style 87 composure and then 85 stamina it has everything you want in a striker but he ships as a left winger so what I did obviously went in with the 4-3-2-1 converted to the 4-1-2-1-2 uh, second variation and tried him out I had Abu Bakr which was maybe the downfall of my weekend league I thought because he has decent long shots he's got good enough passing he's got a bit of strength in the box as well as the five star skill moves I love a cam that has five star skill moves I thought he was gonna play well but as you guys can see here he's got 37 games played nine goals and seven assists not a great performance especially given that I love to use my cam not only to create assists uh, create goal scoring opportunities but I also like to score with my cam as you guys will remember that Fanta Hyung Min Son last year was the player uh, that did that for me Henri is just blazing still crazy 196 game, uh, games played 195 goals and 117 assists so pretty much my all-around guy that gets it all done the most disappointing part was and I know it's a little bit more defensive minded but uh one goal from PZ, zero goals from Pereira. Again, I wasn't expecting a whole lot of goals from him, but we get five assists. And then four goals and five assists from Jonas. Again, the RCM position, usually one that is very, very involved in the scoring, be it from an assist and goal scoring perspective uh, for my weekend league. Pereira was good, but easily the best defensive player was this guy right here. You guys will know, Alex Tells. Again, I don't know what let me down. I think it was more user error. The squad was really, really good for me. In most matches, I felt like I was in it. Even uh, later in Foot Champs, when I was coming up against those crazy, crazy squads, you know, like the Prime Matadors, just like the crazy, crazy squads that you come up against in the last 15, 20 matches of Foot Champs, this squad really hung in there, and I'm really, really proud of my Pastéis de Nada Liga Nos squad. Shout out to all my Portuguese guys that are watching. I know uh, you really, really wanted to see this epic. 
happy. The Russian League is one that I definitely, definitely want to try out. So I'm thinking that's what we do for the next weekend. You guys let me know in the comment section below. You guys give me some ideas for a Russian League squad I could use. Again, if there's a lot of decisions to make. Rugani, uh, Kokorin, uh, do we unlock that, uh, do we unlock that Quin uh, Quincy Promise card? and a bunch of other decisions that we have to make. You guys help me out with some critical decisions in the comment section below regarding those decisions that we're gonna have to make. Now we're gonna go over to the packs, we're gonna blast open these packs, and for whatever reason, I feel like we have a really good chance at getting something great. I'm hoping to see some orange flare. I really don't care what orange Fanta card it is as long as we get a Fanta card, but for whatever reason, I feel like we're gonna have some good luck with these packs. The first one coming off the board and we get ourselves, cons uh, we get ourselves Guerrero. Okay, position change was a left back in last year's FIFA, and of course, because we did Liga Nos, they hit us with a Portuguese player. We get ourselves Guerrero, a very, very well balanced card, and then we get a story, and we're gonna be looking for any uh, Spanish Bundesliga players because, as I, as you guys saw, they instantly sell for ten thousand coins. Now I went to the dentist yesterday. And I hadn't been to the dentist in over three and a half years, which is absolutely crazy. They were like, bro, how have you not been here in three and a half years? And to my surprise, I only had two cavities. I had a little bit of like plaque buildup, um, and I just have to go back in a week to get two cavities filled. One cavity was actually not even a cavity. It was just like a filling that I had from a previous thing from like three years ago. So technically, I really only had one cavity. So um, just actually kind of proud of how I've taken care of my teeth. We get McGuire, who has his SBC. Also, shout out... Ryan Mason, who was retired from the Irish national team. Um, a, a bittersweet end because I believe it was due to a head injury. He was forced to retire due to a head injury, so best wishes to him. And we are not going to, in our first three packs, again, it's two players packs, so we're not expecting a whole lot. We get ourselves Schwolo. So let's open these prime gold players packs. These are from our cultural, uh, the cultural exchange SPC. Again, not 100% sure if I want to do the marquee matchup. We get a board. It is not going to be, again, it could be one of 350 players. Goalkeeper, Napoli, we get Reyna. Okay, so we get 83 Reyna, uh, Halstenberg, Zakani, Sundgren, and then Jefferson Farfun. By the way, shout out Peru. A, a few of the guys that I work out with at the gym are Peruvian. We were talking for like a few hours yesterday. First time, I didn't realize it was this crazy. I knew it was the first time in a long time. First time in 35 years that Peru is in the World Cup. If you're Peruvian, you gotta be, if you're Peruvian, you gotta be elated for this upcoming World Cup. I know that I'm excited. Second pack, and we get a board. I think it's gonna be an inform. It is going to be an inform. Please, eight! No, 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 no. What? That is what? not. Locadia? De Jong. We get De Jong, we get Class My Nuts, we get Brizuela, Mbemba, Gilaboji. Again, we're looking for, we're looking for German players. Uh, we're looking for German players. Wait, wait, what are we looking for? We're looking for Spanish players in the Bundesliga. Okay, so here, these are the real packs. Uh, with a whopping, yes, 30 items, a mix of players, in, at least 26 gold with 18 rares. A mix, uh, and then the rare players pack. The most unique top-rated players, all in a single pack, uh, pack includes 12 items, all players, all gold, all rare. So we're gonna save the all players packs, we're gonna pop these open, and I'm hoping if we can get three out of five boards, we just had a crazy glitch go on, and we get ourselves a board, uh, we get our board player. Come on! Uh, uh, Benatia, okay, so 84. Juve Benatia, by the way, uh, by the way, Juve Spurs kicking off today. Uh, if I had to give a prediction, I want, uh, you know what, I'm just going to go England because England in Champions League is always the underdog. I would love to see an English team go forward, um, go really, really deep into Champions League this year. I think it's time that an English league go through. Love Juve, but uh, would love to see Spurs go through. Youngman, Son, Kane, obviously uh, some of my favorite players, so it will be fun to see them. Higgy, Dybala, that, that Juve team is going to be a tough one to go through. Uh, we get Benatia, we get Eto, Grimaldo, Dos Santos, we get transferred Konyas for... Uh, Eto, so not bad. 84, uh, 84 Benatia. Anytime you get that, you'll take it. We will. Uh, one more mega pack before our rare players pack here. Let's see what they're gonna give us. We get another board, so already exceeded our expectations for how many boards we're gonna get. German goalkeeper. Oh my god, Horn. 83 Reyna. We get uh, two keepers. We get uh, a Horn, and then we get Benatia. Do we have anything else hiding in there? Rojo. That's a pretty decent pull. The moment of truth, boys. Our two rare players pack. Come on, hit me with it. I want at least two boards in these packs. We get a board in the first one, of course it's going to be, but we have not got that Fanta pull yet. Uh, French, center back, Koscielny. Dude, I swear, whenever we get a high rated, whenever we get like a semi high rated Premier League player, it is always Koscielny. Whenever I get a French board, it's always Koscielny. We get Bender, 
Toprak. Okay, so this is a... What is this? A 40... Is this a 45k pack? Last rare player's pack! Please, can it be something exciting? A rare player's pack has to be a board. Of course it's going to be. With, what is it? 12 to 18 players? Give me a good nationality. So don't do Berkey. Don't do your summer. I'm joking. You don't have that. Berkey! <laughs> By the way, shout out Switzerland. You won the Olympics. See ya, Berkey. We get Schweini. Uh, Miguel, why you always lying? Quags. We get some channel favorites. We get Lukaku, who goes for... Uh, I think he's going for about six, eight hundred now. He probably doesn't go for anywhere near as much as he did before. Um, and then we will uh, we will quick sell him just because I don't even think he's going for a thousand coins right now. But anyway, boys, we're gonna have to take care of the transfer list. Have a bunch of players to sell. Have the Liga Nos side that I need to sell, and then a Russian League side that I'm hoping to build that hopefully is going to be sick. But that's what I need your guys' help with in the comment section below, letting me know what some possible Russian League sides are that I can build. On Rita Glory. Episodia number 30 is in the book. Sorry this one was a little bit delayed, but uh, again, the Cristiano SBC, the J-League SBC came out, and then also had that Fanta Robin card got in the way of getting another epi of Henri de Gloria. But anyway, boys, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys are enjoying Henri de Gloria, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, boys. Tschüss. Later. Adieu.